the belief that we are not just a physical being living in a physical universe, but that we are multidimensional beings living in a multidimensional universe dates back to the earliest civilization. Many ancient spiritual and metaphysical philosophies like Buddhism, Vedism, Hinduism, Kabbalism, and many others believe that there were multiple realms of existence within the universe. They believe that the universe was somehow divided into planes, each comprising its own reality, populated and inhabited by multitudes of entities, beings, creatures, and objects. The hidden dimensions are unseen realms and make up a much larger proportion of the universe than the physical parts which are visible to us. Physicists know this and call the unseen parts dark matter and dark energy. Conventional science has not yet theorized a plan of these higher dimensions, so we must look to ancient knowledge and alternative science for the answers. The following passage from the ancient Hindu text, the Vishnu Purana, states much the same thing. This universe, composed of seven zones, is everywhere swarming with living creatures, large or small, so that there is not the eighth part of an inch in which they do not abound. Eastern spiritual science describes seven planes. The lower planes express more of the matter aspect and are therefore more material, and the higher planes express more of the energy aspect and are therefore more subtle. The seven planes are not specific locations. They all interpenetrate each other and occupy the same space. Different levels of consciousness are required to perceive the different planes or dimensions. The Kabbalah has its own system of cosmology called the Tree of Life. It has ten sephiroth or worlds which correspond exactly with the seven planes of the Eastern systems. In the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, in Tablet 10, called The Key of Time, we found the following passage. List ye, O man, and hear a mystery, stranger than all that lies neath the sun. Know ye, O man, that all space is filled by worlds within worlds, I, one within the other, yet separate by law. The ancients knew, intuitively, that the universe had many invisible parallel realities, but they lacked a science to explain how this was possible. This is no longer the case, and there is nothing at all mystical about it. It's just physics, the physics of energy and frequency. It has been written about before, over and over again, but cannot be emphasized enough. The world of quantum physics is an eerie one, one that sheds light on the truth about our world in ways that challenge the existing framework of accepted knowledge. What we perceive as our physical material world is really not physical or material at all. In fact, it is far from it. This has been proven time and time again by multiple Nobel Prize winning physicists among many other scientists around the world. One of them was Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist who made significant contributions to understanding atomic structure and quantum theory, for which he received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922. According to Bohr, if quantum mechanics hasn't profoundly shocked you, you haven't understood it yet. Everything we call real is made of things that cannot be regarded as real. At the turn of the 19th century, physicists started to explore the relationship between energy and the structure of matter. In doing so, the belief that a physical Newtonian material universe that was at the very heart of scientific knowing was dropped, and the realization that matter is nothing but an illusion replaced it. Scientists began to recognize that everything in the universe is made out of pure energy. The great genius Nikola Tesla also knew that, and he is quoted saying, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Quantum physicists have already discovered that the physical atoms are made up of non-physical vortices of energy that are constantly spinning and vibrating, each one radiating its own unique energy signature. Therefore, if we really want to observe ourselves and find out what we are, we would discover that we are really beings of energy and vibration radiating our own unique energy signature and frequency. This is fact and is what quantum physics has shown us time and time again. 
we are much more than what we perceive ourselves to be, and it's time we begin to see ourselves in that light. If you observed the composition of an atom with a microscope, you would see a small, invisible, tornado-like vortex, with a number of infinitely small energy vortices called quarks and photons. These are what make up the structure of the atom. As you focused in closer and closer on the structure of the atom, you would see nothing. You would observe a physical void. The atom has no physical structure. We have no physical structure. Physical things really don't have anything physical in them. Atoms are made out of invisible energy, not tangible matter. As Richard Kahn Henry, a professor of physics and astronomy, stated, Get over it and accept the inarguable conclusion. The universe is immaterial, mental and spiritual. Our experience tells us that our reality is made up of physical material things and that our world is an independently existing objective one. The revelation that the universe is not an assembly of physical parts and instead comes from a holistic entanglement of immaterial energy waves stems from the work of Albert Einstein, Max Planck, and Werner Heisenberg, among many others. But what does it mean that our physical material reality isn't really physical at all? It could mean a number of things, and concepts such as this cannot be explored if scientists remain within the boundaries of the only perceived world existing, the world we see. As Nikola Tesla said, the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Fortunately, many scientists have already taken the leap and have already questioned the meaning and implications of what we've discovered with quantum physics. Physicists are being forced to admit that the universe is a mental construction. Pioneering physicist Sir James Jeans wrote, The stream of knowledge is heading toward a non-mechanical reality. The universe begins to look more like a great thought than like a great machine. Mind no longer appears to be an accidental intruder into the realm of matter. We ought rather hail it as the creator and governor of the realm of matter. This leads us to the amazing technology created by Daniel Neems, which can see multidimensional beings. As a teenager, Daniel Neems has had a passion for science and astronomy so it was no surprise when his vocation took him into the field of science. Today, Neems is both a scientist and inventor in Colombia, with him claiming he has the technology to photograph multidimensional beings. Neems said that his interest in the multidimensional universe began after a magazine article attracted his attention about the dark matter of the universe. He then came up with the idea of devising technology through optical experiments along with mathematical calculations that would allow him to take images of multidimensional beings. Names knew about the development of technology which can capture images of black light, infrared, ultraviolet, and such. However, he went one step ahead and found a way of capturing the unknown that was far superior. He named the technology he invented energy vision. Neems combined special lenses along with the sunlight and used screens that are ultra-sensitive that he created. With his invention, Neems claims that he can capture images that are of unknown origin. The images come from other planes of existence and show various multidimensional beings and creatures. NASA and other companies must surely want to get their hands on such technology, but Neems said, he has not exposed his invention, but he did try to make the scientific community aware of its existence. Neems also claims the media has silenced his discovery and the images that he has taken using his technology. Neems has published many images through Facebook and revealed that since 2015, he posted more than 1,000 photos to his page. The scientist claims to have had a great deal of rejection and many insults have come his way, along with disbelief of the images. He said, The only way I have to publicize my invention and the captures are by Facebook. Since 2015, I have posted 1,000 photos on my Facebook page. When I started to publish my images on my social network, I had a lot of rejection, 
it was very hard and there were many insults towards me. Fortunately, my images are now more known and when I post on Facebook or in other groups, it is rare to receive a disqualification or insult. There is no denying that the photos are strange and in almost all of them, it is possible to see strange figures or faces. Many people who have had spiritual experiences in other dimensions or used a spirit molecule known as DMT report that these beings are very similar to the beings that they saw during their experiences. Whether they are the faces and bodies of multidimensional beings from unknown worlds remains to be proven. One thing is for sure, the images are incredibly interesting to look at. Tell us what you think. Do you believe multidimensional beings exist? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new, hit subscribe and the bell next to it for future notifications.